It's the Google Pixel 8a versus the Moto G Stylus for 2024. A request a comparison. A bit odd on the face of it since these are very different devices, but they do have similar price points, or at least they're in the similar mid-range category. But you have two companies with very different philosophies on what makes a mid-range phone go. And that kind of makes for an interesting comparison, at least, because there are clear areas where I believe the 8A overwhelms and overpowers the Moto G Stylus. But there are a couple of areas, at least, where you'd consider picking up a G Stylus. And then, of course, there's the great equalizer, which is the price. $499 over here, at least for the moment, on the Pixel 8a. And then you're looking at $399 for the Moto G Stylus. Now, both are going to have carrier discounts, but rather aggressive ones. I do believe over the course of the year, the Moto ones will be even more aggressive. That We've seen kind of like $200 through Metro PCS already, a few bucks a month. The AT&T will have it. T-Mobile will have it. So you can go on down the line. But you are going to see some rather aggressive kind of sales and discounts and trade-in offers and all the rest of it for the Pixel 8a as time goes along. But then again, let's keep in mind the entire time, 100 bucks. So let's talk about the different philosophies that the companies have taken. Moto's got kind of an old-school feel towards a mid-range device. What do I mean by that? Well, they've got not a cheaper build quality, but you do have the plastic frame and the eco leather back, which I love, by the way. I think it feels nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. I like, if you're going to go with a plastic back on a device, I do think more companies should go towards the eco leather, but you've got a nice big display on here. You've got a 6.7 inch OLED display, P OLED, which is good, so it means the bezels don't have to be oversized in one area. You're not going to have a huge chin on this device, so really nice display, but where it falls apart is software support, stuff like that, so that's an old school school kind of mid-range mentality but then again you're saving 100 bucks over here and but with that with that kind of old school mentality you do pick up a headphone jack and a micro sd card expandable storage so that is something that a lot of people see as a selling point for devices if you're somebody that carries around a lot of photos on the go with you you have pdfs you have whatever else movies and stuff like that you like to watch stuff in airplane mode or your travel a lot then an sd card slot is important for you so what does the pixel pick up for that extra hundred bucks well google's philosophy for a mid-range device has come a long way from the 3a and specifically the 6a now with the 8a we're kind of going for flagship killer we're trying to go for a more premium build and you could feel that as soon as you pick up the device we have a smaller display over here 6.1 inch display does have the metal frame it is a plastic back which is quite nice though it's kind of that frosted matte plastic so i do like that feel solid doesn't feel cheap at all it's kind of got the new google design language where it feels a little melted where you have the kind of the boxy note language and we'll get to that in a moment when we talk about the stylus but display over here also a nice display not as bright as the moto but you still get a plenty saturated display and nice contrasty display as well as we turn stuff off here 120 hertz on uh, both of these uh, google has really stepped up and done a good job with their displays so in the past this display the motor g styles to say probably would trounce the pixel 8a display that is not the case anymore you're both getting eight gigs of ram here but software uh, when it comes to a chipset performance wise you're going to get better performance out of the uh, tensor 3 in the google 8a google pixel 8a the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 is perfectly serviceable in the Moto G Stylus. If you're getting it for $200 less, if you're getting it for $100 less, I think you're going to be plenty happy. Gaming's possible at decent frames. Call of Duty Mobile, all the rest of it. Processing daily tasks, you're never really going to notice any slowdown. Where the Pixel kind of pulls ahead in performance, more intensive stuff. If you're doing on-device AI stuff, if you're doing photo and video editing, this is where kind of the tensor comes good in the Pixel 8a, and you're really paying for that extra processing power. But if you're making a decision between these two devices, then you kind of know what you need, right? If you're somebody that needs the more intensive stuff and you're willing to spend a little bit more, then you're probably going to go towards something like a Pixel 8a for the, uh, the peace of mind that we're going to talk about in a moment. But if you're not somebody like that, if you're somebody that's just going to pick up this and, and you use it for basic stuff, you don't want to spend a lot. You do like the idea of a headphone jack. You like the idea of a stylus, but you don't want to spend you know twelve hundred dollars on an S twenty four Ultra and the the LG stylo isn't doesn't exist anymore. These are reasons why you'd kind of go towards the uh, Moto G stylus, and there are plenty of reasons to enjoy that stylus. I like it a lot. First of all, they put it back on the right hand side of the device, which I think is where it should be, Samsung. But you get a lot of things 
for it. You really get a lot of functionality if you're somebody who uses the pin. You get the calculator thing, which whatever. But Gift Maker, believe it or not, it sounds silly, but I use it a lot. Screen right, you're signing stuff. I don't know how many times I don't have a pen and paper around. And I need, you know, I'm on a desk phone or something like that, or I'm on another line, and I need to just quick jot down a number. It's so useful to not have to unlock anything, not have to do anything. I don't know if I could do it now that I'm in this, but you just pull out the pen, it recognizes it, and it sends me into a mode where I could just jot down a number. I use that two or three times a week. So don't discount stuff like that, those little Moto Extras. Plus, you got the Moto Gestures. My UX is a relatively clean install of Android, so there's not a whole lot of difference there, but... One year of major upgrades of Android, three years of security updates. This is where you get a situation where the Google Pixel 8a really takes an advantage. Seven years of upgrades, seven years of software support, seven years of Pixel Extras and whatever else. Now, will you get the latest and greatest AI stuff? Always? Probably not. Probably not. But you'll get enough of it. You get the Pixel Extras. You get now playing. You'll get all the things that you like, plus the camera, right? Camera trounces the camera on the Moto G Stylus. Battery life is the other way around. The Moto G Stylus trounces the Pixel 8a on camera. We're talking about two hours of screen on time difference between these two. Charging is faster on your Moto G Stylus. You're talking 30 watt charging versus 18 watt snail charging on your Pixel 8a. So you see, they kind of go back and forth a little bit. But there are some important areas where the Pixel 8a really is going to be worth, especially if you can get it on a sale, get a little bit more. You're getting a lot more phone over here, performance wise camera wise software wise but if those things don't matter to you say i want a nice screen on a phone i want a nice big screen 6.7 versus 6.1 inch display you're not really looking at a downgrade in terms of viewing your content both 120 hertz both great oled panels nice and saturated nice and poppy if you don't really care about feature jobs you don't really care about ai you just look i want instagram i want to watch netflix I want Twitter on here. I want a couple other things. Plus, I want the stylus. Plus, I want to be able to, to take my photos and videos with me and all the rest of it and all the media that I bought that I, I bought uh, f- uh, physical. I bought uh, uh, solid copies, I guess, that you could download as opposed to cloud copies. And I want to carry all that stuff around with me. And I've had my an S9 in my pocket for the last six years. These are things that you think about. And these are reasons why you'd maybe pick up a Moto G stylus. And I really, like I said, if, if you're going for a budget device at this point, or a mid-range device, I should say, and you want to go for a plastic build, I really, now the, the frosted uh, the frosted plastic, really nice on the Pixel 8a, but I like the Vega, the, oh, sorry, you can't say that anymore. I don't know why. Eco leather backing on the Moto G stylus. Feels premium, looks really good. I think there's a lot here. I wish Moto would offer more support. I think it would really come in strong against the 8A if it just offered more software support. They don't do a whole heck of a lot to the I, uh, the OS anyway. It's not like they heavily skin my UX. It's not like it's a, it's a massive project for them to come out with new features. Yeah, it's not like they're coming out with new features every year either. New you know feature drops? No, forget it. Meet your, uh, Moto's never heard of a feature drop. So you got your gestures, like it or, or leave it. So I don't know why it's so difficult for the company to come up with that. But if you don't care about that, you want a phone to use it as an old school phone? Moto G Stylus, you could save 100 bucks, possibly even more. If you want to take that next step into what mobile computing and, and, and smartphones are going to be into the future, the Pixel 8a gives you more of that experience today, and it gives you more peace of mind and future proofing against that in years to come. You got seven years of updates, AI, Gemini Nano, blah, 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 all the way down the line. Okay. So there's reasons why you pick up a Pixel 8a. But if you don't care about any of that, Save 100 bucks. This is a pretty darn good phone. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.